really like the idea that when you're in a relationship with someone, a friendship, you sometimes get to a place where you're just knocking heads. He was only there to protect me. You are naive or ignorant. Oh, I don't know. And I thought it would be really interesting if they were both so furious with each other and they were both right. We don't have much time. The head of internal affairs is on his way up here to get a statement from you about the shooting. That's it? That's it? That's all you have to say? Not, I'm sorry that your father's dying? It's a tough thing to get over when your best friend shoots your biological father, even though he's a bad guy. You shot a man who's head of the Irish mob, suspected of 15 murders. I mean, he was nice to her, though. I also love unexpected feelings that we have. You never really have the feelings you think you're gonna have. And it was exciting for two female leads to sort of explore the dynamics of what happens in conflict. A homicide detective and a medical examiner are having a cat fight that needs police intervention. Well, a cat fight? Did you really just call a disagreement between two female colleagues a cat fight? Well, actually, aggression between two females. Oh, for the love of Pete, stop! I love the idea of playing with what happens when men stand back and watch women fight, because men are afraid of us. With good reason. What about Dr. Isles? She was part of the cat fight, too. I think people like these characters so much. They want to see things that feel true, that feel real. I love just putting it out there and being provocative and let people feel like, OK, that feels real. They like each other, they're protective of each other, and they hate each other, and they're fighting. Classy. Hide your insults in Latin. It's Greek. Uh, the geek that knows Greek. That's fun stuff to, to play around in.